Today is Wednesday, May 16th, and we will be doing graph number three. So open up your weather log file. I'm going to open up mine. <coughs> Excuse me. In today's graph, we're going to be plotting date versus temperature versus humidity. So this is a current temperature uh, that we were taking in class and the current humidity that we were taking in class. And the point of this is to see uh, as the temperature rises or the temperature decreases, what is happening to the humidity. And again, humidity is just how much moisture is in the air. And that's measured in percentage. So we're going to take the date, highlight date, highlight temperature, highlight humidity. Again, make sure you have a space here in between your headings and your data. And now I'll go ahead and go up to charts. In this case, we're going to do another line graph. And just like the last graph we did, we run into some small issues as far as the x-axis cutting straight through our data. So we can double click along our y-axis and when it says format axis, go up to our scale and the last or bottom category says horizontal category axis crosses at and since it's set up at zero and temperature dips down to negative 40, uh, we need to make it lower than that. So I'll put it down to negative, oops, negative 50 and we can see that the x-axis then drops down and it looks good. Going to expand it a bit. Again, we need to format the x-axis by giving it a label. And so we can pull up our toolbox and go to my labels, give the chart a title. I'm just going to write in there for now, title. I'll let you call it what you think is appropriate. Again, try to choose a title that's going to let anyone who's looking at this graph understand what it is that they're looking at. So they don't have to look at it and, under, and you know, try and gather their own information. So chart title, horizontal axis across the bottom. What is this? This is our date. You'll want to capitalize this. <clears throat> and our vertical axis. Um, the vertical axis is temperature, um, but it's also a humidity. And so I'm going to have you do this a little bit differently. This time I'm going to have you say uh, vertical axis is temperature in degrees. Again, option zero to get the degree symbol, Fahrenheit. And then what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select my humidity, which is the red. I'm going to do that by clicking on it, and I can see now it highlights all the different points on there. Now I'll double click it, and it says Format Data Series. That's what I want. I will now go to Axis, and <clears throat> it says Plot Series on the primary axis. The primary axis would be this Y axis. Um, and I'm going to choose Secondary, which means I can make a secondary axis to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in this case, I have temperature all the way off to the left, and I have over here to the right humidity on its own axis. Um, it gets a little confusing because now it's overlapping with the temperature. So I will select it and go to my scale. And I may make at the top, yeah, if that's at 100, that's good for humidity. Um, I may make the bottom value much smaller. So the minimum value, instead of being zero, if I make it much smaller, it's going to bump up that humidity. So I may make it negative 50. It's not possible to go negative for humidity, but I'm just doing this so that it will pop up my information. don't really like that, so maybe I will play with that a bit more. Um, maximum is going to be 100. Minimum. Oh, 
I'm just trying to find a good place to put it so that I can see directly the relationship between humidity and temperature. We should be realizing on here that as the temperature decreases, and we see in the winter months it's getting pretty cold. As the temperature decreases, the humidity is also going to be decreasing. Okay, at least when there's a when there's a change in temperature. So we can still see um, at times in the winter where it's pretty cold, but we have higher humidities. Um, but as it changes from whatever its temperature is to a lower temperature, we see a big drop off in humidity. And that's the main point that we're trying to see here. So I will let you go ahead and, and do this how you wish, playing around with the numbers a bit. I kind of like it here because I end up with <clears throat> my humidity being just above my temperature and it gives me a good comparison like here in November I can see this big drop off in temperature and at the same time I see a big drop off in humidity um, and again I have this over here humidity going along with it so I can choose this as my secondary vertical axis I'm going to put humidity percent. And so I formatted both y-axis, um, my x-axis, and given it a title. I just gave it a cheapo title, but you give it a good one. Then go ahead and change around um, how it looks. Give it some, some background or some texture to it and uh, print it off. When you finish printing it off, put your name on the back side in pencil. And then if you'd like to, with a colored pencil, or with markers, you can color in your graph and give it some good color since we don't have a color printer to use for these. And that's it. That's graph number three. Good luck.